Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Excellence. I'm, as always, your host, James Windsor Smith. And today, we're going to break up the monotony of drawing Cerebus every day with a quick drawing of Wolverroach. All right, I'm going to start out here with a color called Lagoon. I hope everybody can see this. All right, starting with the circle for the head. It was just my excuse to draw Wolverine, basically. I think uh, that Dave actually drew the Wolver Roach better than the, the comic book of uh, Wolverine was being drawn at the time, even by top talent like uh, Frank Miller. I never liked uh, Joseph Rubenstein's uh, finishes on uh, on Frank Miller. And uh, I think that Dave did a, a better idea with the same concept. Make that jaw pretty big and square. Broad shoulders. Okay, we basically have the forms down already. I'm looking at my photo reference. I have the uh, Cerebus Covers art book out. I no longer have my old uh, Cerebus issues. I uh, sent them to my friend Richard in California in exchange for some really, really nice limited signed prints. I really made out of them the deal because I can always get the trades back again of Cerebus. But those uh, those uh, prints were once in a lifetime. I kind of made out like a bandit on that one, to be honest. Okay, let's see here. Let's add some orange here for the mask. That's pretty bright orange, so let's switch to another orange as well. Mix it up a bit. Oh, I found a skin tone. I might as well put that on the side so I don't have to search for it later. And here's another color I'm going to use. Okay. I'm actually going to go with a yellow color. Blend it with the orange a bit so it carries over. You don't want it to be too yellow. Okay, right now on to a bit of the face here. I'm using amber for the face, at least a bit of it. Get those shadows under the bottom lip and under the nose. You want to pronounce those cheekbones. And that giant chin that we uh, established is uh, a trademark of the cockroach. All right, from amber to tan now. We're starting with... Um, some really small colors here, like look how little the orange was used and the and the skin was used. But then look at the bottom of the section; it's all one big color down here. All right now, I have something called chili red. 
I'm not going to use a lot of this, despite what I just said. But I just want to define him a bit more. And just to provide a little bit of highlight there. Now we have to get some sort of brownish color. Let me see what I have here. Mm, okay. <clears throat> here we go. Let's actually use the side of the edge and go a little faster. It's not going to matter in the end. It's all going to blend together with the water, as always. Don't forget the shoulders, the pecs. All right. Now one of the colors I got here was uh, deep rose. So let's highlight the other side in a, in a pinkish rosy color here. Bit of the face it can be highlighted. Those little ball thingies that uh, the cockroach wears on his face. All right, one more color here. I want something brown, but I can't seem to find a lot of browns here. When I say that, and I find matter brown, it's like they were taunting me from Valhalla. Or Vanaheim. Let's keep this appropriate to the subject matter. Okay, let's go dark on the mask here with that matter brown. Whereas at the bottom, sorry, I mean to bump the camera. Whereas at the bottom, it's a mix of, of several colors. Here, we want to just use the one pretty much. If anything, we want to use a darker color after we go over it with the brown. Turn this bit. All right, now let's go back over it a little bit. If anything, we may feel we need to accentuate. So we get something a little darker. In this case, I'm just going to go with a blue, I think. Iris blue. Just highlight it away. Think of it as like when you're inking, you uh, sometimes don't connect the lines. Basically, don't connect the lines as much at this point. You're just highlighting at this point. I keep saying at this point, just go with it. Bit of stubble. Don't forget, over the lip. Okay. We are ready for a water. Let me set up here. Get rid of the uh, service book that I was using for reference. And let me see if I have water. Here we go. This, we have water. 
So you start towards the top and work your way down. Your hand's going to go over the art, so it, it's inevitable that you would make smears. So just try to eliminate little things like that as you're going. A little tip there for you. In general, you want to work like from top to bottom. Unless you have a technique that, that, that I'm not thinking of or you, you work digitally, maybe it's still a good habit to, uh, to do that when you're working digitally, just in case you switch back and forth. Okay, let me wipe off the brush a bit. Even though we're going with a brown down here, we don't want to mix them too much. Yeah, this is coming out pretty good, I think. This is one of the funner pieces in the uh, series that you can basically win through the contest that I'm holding. All you have to do to win is comment, liked, and actually press like on this video or any of the videos that, that will be posted this month. And at the beginning of next month, maybe one of the first videos I do, I will select from a list on paper so you can actually watch me select somebody so you know it's not right not that you really suspect that and who, who's going to pull that kind of chicanery on this uh, anyways uh you can uh you can basically win everything i draw at one swoop there's one winner so the more people that comment the less likely you are to win but so far, there's only been a handful of people that have really seen these and uh, and commented on them. I, I think maybe like five people at the most. So you have a one in five shot right now. So good luck, gumshoes. Okay. Now your colors are kind of loose, but who cares? That that that's okay. You're going to define this with ink now. So let me get a uh, a pen out. Okay, I have size point two here. Once again, I'm using multi liners from Copic. They're expensive, but really well made. The tips don't seem to wear out as as uh, fast as a micron. And if they do, the tips are actually replaceable. You just need to buy a tool for like five bucks. And you can buy like new tips for like two of them for about five bucks as well. Considering the pens cost eleven dollars and you and you don't have to buy the tool once, that's like getting a, a pen for half off. Only at Copic. I'm a whore for a Copics. I don't own any of the markers, actually. I hear a lot of great things, and maybe I would enjoy using them, but I'm still a cheap bastard. All right, I'm going to switch to another number two. I think that point is starting to wear down a bit. There we go. If this doesn't work, I'm going to go with a a, a bigger nib. It seems to be working out. But I'm kind of already in my head thinking it might look better with the nib. These lines are okay, but they're, they're nothing outstanding. So let me see what I have. Okay, here's a point five. That's pretty big. Let me try out here just to play around. So if you select, that's pretty good. So let's say you, you change pens midstream. You want to basically experiment around an edge of something that you can change if it sucks. But this one, we locked out, and the opposite happened. I'd probably use a crow quill for this, but I've been having bad luck with nibs lately. I don't know if my ink's too thick or uh, or if it's the actual nims themselves. They are pretty old. They're from the 40s, actually. So I'm not sure what it is, but I, I don't really have time for that. 
I did notice I did not actually highlight in water on the on the forehead up here. So I'm gonna let the ink dry, which won't take that long, especially considering that we use pen and not uh, the croak wheel. So even there is probably good enough. There we go. Now, unlike the ink, you're going to want to wait longer for that to dry. Let me just get the residue under the eyes because we don't want to leave white eyes on here. Oh, let me adjust what you're looking at. I'm sorry. There we go. Back to the point 0.5. So let this dry up here and just work it on other areas in the meantime. By the time you get, you're ready to get to the top again, it should be dry and ready to go. Work on the clavicle. Listen to me on all these uh, anatomically correct uh, terms. Wow. Clavicle. These are called lips. L I P. Yes. I'm so smart, intelligent. All right, we got some highlights there. Now this chin, we really want it to jut out. So don't be afraid to get bald around here. The worst thing that happens is some of the lines won't be as exciting because they don't match. But I don't see that as a problem. You can always adjust these other lines as you're going. I think I'm going to have time to uh, do some highlights in white. I only get about 28 minutes or so to do a video before it just cuts off on me. So if I do happen to get cut off, I'll probably still upload the uh, the video as is. So I'll just say the closing remarks now, which is uh, just like and subscribe the videos if you like what you see. If you, if you actually have fun getting into that zen-like uh, meditative frame of mind, well, come back for more. Now I know why they uh, they do that at the end of the video. It's it's so cheese ball, you know. <laughs> Just hawking your wares. So let's go over some of the stuff that the outstanding achievement group's been doing lately. We have weekly homework assignments, and by homework you, you don't actually have to do it, but it's fun to play around to pretend that, that it's mandatory, but it's really not. It's just for fun. We've been selecting things uh, that are kind of universal to draw. Like, uh, I think the first week we uh, selected Batman, because everyone draws Batman. Everyone has their interpretation of Batman. Then I chose Space Ghost. I actually chose Space Ghost because the design's so simple that, you know, it's more likely that somebody will, will draw that because it's it's not a lot of work and everybody's got deadlines. So rather than eat into anyone's personal time, I kind of chose that character, to be honest. Then I decided, like, instead of hogging all the fun, the heart of, of the group is to basically spread the wealth. Make it about the members and not necessarily about me. Like, in general, who knows? I could like, go away tomorrow. Like, if something could happen. Like, uh, something like with mortality or whatever. Like death. <laughs> we'll say death. You know, anybody could die. I'd rather that the group continues if something would happen like that. Like, like just move on. It's just basically keep celebrating yourselves. So the, the less it's about me, then the more it's about everybody. 
and it's not about one person pushing their stuff all the time, feel free to plug away anything, like literally anything that's related to your work. I prefer that it be your work and, and not like uh, other artists, but I've definitely done that too. It's just really not a problem to uh, to promote something you believe in that somebody's working you hard on. I'd say everything I've worked on is either a member or anything that I've promoted rather has been either a member or has, has been somebody that I think is worthy of attention of the members. Also, if you want me to promote your books on the channel here, I don't have a huge following yet, but at the same time, I'd be more than willing to, to push your goodies, you know? I, I really believe in your talents in general for everybody that's a, a member of this group. I didn't just choose, like, a bunch of random people. I really checked out their pages before I selected them. With the one exception being the, the marijuana dude. Somehow he slipped through. Everyone remember that guy? He was messaging people and messaging their families trying to sell them weed. First of all, I'm straight edge. I've never uh, partaken in alcohol or drugs. I'm like age 43, so it sounds kind of silly to call yourself straight edge at that point. Like, what's that mean? Am I like a punk or whatever? But anyways... Yeah, that like weed is not my thing. If it's your thing, great. Uh, welcome to the group. Talking about all the weed you want or whatever. I just never done it. I never really thought it was that exciting. But I, I have got to admit, there's a lot of great uh, artwork that's been influenced by drugs over the years, like the Beatles and uh, the work of Alan Moore. I mean, that those things wouldn't exist if if not for uh, for drugs. Oh, did you notice I actually got up here? I didn't even think about it. The the uh, the water had dried already. So how about that? Okay. I am just about done. But what I'm going to do is fill in a background. I'm thinking of going with either fuchsia or going with red. And I've already got fuchsia in my hand, so I think we have our answer. I'm going super dark on this. I plan on doing some white designy thingies, so the thicker we get, the more they stand out. The lighter you go, the harder it's going to be for the white to, to really jump out at the uh, audience. All right, let's do some red highlights. Why? Why not? Just pick some colors. Let's see. Uh, Shiraz again. This is another Shiraz. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, scarlet pink. It's somewhere between the the fuchsia and red, anyway. That looks pretty good. I think we'll have some okay results from this. Yeah, sorry you can't see the whole picture being drawn. I'll just uh, go up here and bring it down so you can see our progress so far. Okay, I'm going back to the brush. And here I'm dabbing a bit. Basically the secret is I either dab on the body or I dab on the background. Anything to make a contrasting effect. Notice I uh, went back and blended a bit with once I had the, uh, the pink on there. I mean... This pink might as well be red because this is really a uh, really something. I 
And how am I doing on time? Am I doing okay? I think I have uh, some time left. I'm going to just hit pause for a second because I want to show you some of those white highlights. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I uh, have drawn a few symbols here, some stars, squares, and, uh, and circles. And now I've already got the white pen out. I've only got a few minutes. So let's get straight to it. Basically, I'm filling in those areas and making them as white as possible just so they stand out. I would basically, I'd put a caption for the Wolver Roach to say, but I can't think of anything clever. It's as simple as that. Filling it in. Notice the, the stars. I, I basically use the thing that kids do where I, I go do, 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 do. And I, I'm filling it in with white anyway, so nobody's going to see that. Whatever works, right? I'm trying to hustle here. It'll probably take a couple hours to, to upload this video if you've ever uploaded anything. It does take a while. All right, now back to highlights. Here's some lines on the forehead. They're not really showing up, probably. I don't know how they're doing on, on video. But somebody's going to own this, and hopefully they'll appreciate the, the delicate lines that I, that I sacrifice time to make here. Whether they show up on the internet or not. I always make it about the client. Okay, I think we're done. Let's take a look at our finished piece here from top to bottom. For, sorry for the shaky camera. I bumped it once again. Now I'm going to add a signature 